Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Oaks, Pennsylvania on this very windy day. Hopefully the wind does not completely destroy this video that we will be going inside for at least a little bit of the video, but most of it probably outside where again, it's very, very windy out today for some crazy bizarre reason. Honestly, temperature wise, it'd be pretty nice out today if not for this crazy amount of wind we're getting today. But anyway, I wanted to document something today because apparently something that I would say, I, don't, I guess I don't want to say I hold it near and dear to my heart, but something I have fond memories of supposedly will be shutting down. From what I read, it was supposed to have already shut down, but um, that's not the case. I believe it's actually still open. So we're going to take a look at this today because I want to document this before it does eventually shut down and I can never see this again. Now, for those of you who, who know me at least a little bit, you might know that I am not much of a movie theater goer. I don't really go to the movie theaters very often, even though I'm a huge movie buff. I love movies. I'm a big collector of movies. I have a huge cinematic media collection, lots of DVDs, Blu-rays. I literally have an entire basement. If you've seen the videos, I have an entire basement full of movies. I have my own rental store, essentially. It's huge. Tons of movies. I love collecting movies. I watch a movie, at least one movie, pretty much every single day. Occasionally, I'll go a day here and there without watching a movie, but for the most part, I watch a movie every... Oh my gosh, it's windy. I watch a, watch a movie every every single day of my life. I love... Look at this. There's a hairbrush down here. I watch a movie every single day of my, my life. My hoodies are going to be flapping all over the place during this entire video. So I love movies. I'm a big, big movie fan buff, big, big movie fan, but I don't go to the movie theaters very often. Why? I just don't like the people at the movie theaters. You, you got the sticky floors, you got people crumpling uh, their, their, their wrappers or their candy, you got people coughing, you got people talking on their phones, you, you've got people talking to each other, you, you got, you just, you got people you gotta deal with. Also, I like at home, I have my, my pause button, if I have to use the restroom, I can just pause the movie anytime I want. I also can have whatever snack I want to have at home. I don't have to pay $475,000 for a, a small popcorn and $9 billion for a small, oh my gosh, it is so windy. Nine billion dollars for a small, for a small soda. I could actually eat whatever I want. I could go to McDonald's to get some food before I eat. It doesn't matter. I, I can have whatever I want at my home. I like the comfort of my couch. I like the comfort of the pause button. I like the comfort of whatever food I want to be eating. I like watching movies at home. I have a nice big TV. It's just in the in the year 2023. I don't really feel that I need to go out to the movies anymore, out to an actual theater anymore. I get the love for theaters. I understand why people love going. Don't get me wrong. I like the experience of, of, of a movie theater as well. I like going to a theater and seeing a movie on the big screen. I do it occasionally. It is fun. I get it. Again, I, I understand the experience. I understand people love the experience, but for me personally, I just don't need it anymore. Kind of rather watch movies from my home. So I am definitely bringing to the downfall of movie theaters. Movie theaters, whether you, whether you agree or not, I feel are starting to slowly die off. And this right here is an example of how that's actually happening. So theaters are starting to die as the years go on. I see within the next, I'm gonna say 10 or so years, I ac actually kind of see movie theaters maybe not even being a thing anymore. So people disagree with me on that, but I kind of see it happening. Theaters in my lifetime will probably no longer exist, at least not in the sense that they do nowadays. You might still have specialty theaters that show old movies and stuff like that, but. Newer movies, I have a feeling, will not be getting released to theaters in the next, I don't know, 10, 20 so years in my lifetime. Probably gonna happen how I see things going down. Maybe not, maybe I'll be wrong. Hopefully I'll be wrong, but who knows? We'll, we'll see. Anyway, I'm not much of a movie theater goer is what I'm trying to say. Long story short, I don't go to the theaters very often, but that wasn't always the case. I used to go to the movie theaters all the time, mainly because I actually had a friend, my best friend, I, I like how I said that because I, I actually had a friend. I don't have any friends anymore. No, I had a friend back in high school whose brother was the manager at a movie theater. And because of that, we used to go to movies all the time for free. We actually used to go to a local movie theater called the called Regal Cinemas. They built one in, in um, what was it, uh, Norristown, Pennsylvania, which is that, that way. That's why I'm pointing that way. It was in Norristown, Pennsylvania, that way, which is about a half hour or so drive from my house. But we used to go out to that movie theater all the, all the time because we worked out there, got us free movies out there. We would just go in to see whatever movie we wanted for absolutely free, cost us nothing. We'd be out there all the time. Then they finally built a Regal Cinemas here in Oaks, Pennsylvania, which is much closer to my house, right in my backyard, about a 10 minute drive from my house. So we started going out to here because he worked here then, and we got us movies for free here. We 
saw every movie. I was literally at the movies every day of the week, five, at least five to, to seven days out of the week, I was at the theater watching a movie because him and I got into the movies for absolutely free due to his brother being a manager here. We saw the most weird, random, bizarre things. Sometimes I'll see a movie, I'll look at a movie I, I own, or I'll talk about a movie, or I'll come across a movie and think, wow, what a weird movie. This is definitely a very like late 90s, early 2000s movie, a product of its time. What a goofy movie this was. And then I think, wait a minute, I saw that movie in the theaters because we would just see everything. If it was a movie, if a movie had come out, we would go see that movie because it wouldn't cost us anything. I saw big blockbusters, I saw bombs, I saw the most ridiculous stuff, the most amazing stuff in the theater because we would just go see anything and everything there was to see because it wouldn't cost us anything to actually go see any of these movies. So this is the Regal Cinema right here. Regal Cinema 24. This is the one they built in Oaks, Pennsylvania. The reason why we used to go to the one all the way out in Norris, and, and, and why am my voice going crazy there for a second? It's very cold. The reason why we used to go to the one all the way in Norristown, Pennsylvania, is because it was it was big and beautiful. These were new things. Back in the early, or yeah, the early 2000s, late 90s, theaters like this were not really a thing in this area. We had small, little like independent, or not, not necessarily independent, but small little theaters that had maybe like one, two, maybe three theaters at the most. They, they just, they, didn't, they weren't very big. They were small, little movie theaters. And then they built the giant Regal out in Norristown, Pennsylvania. Because of that, we used to go out to that one all the time because it was cool. It was the, the brand new, state-of-the-art, fancy pants theater. We loved going there. And then they built this one. And sure enough, this is the one we started going to all the time because it was right in our backyard. So pretty awesome. And now this one is closing down. And it kind of makes sense that this theater is closing down because right down the road, about five minutes down that way, there's a new, uh, well, new, it's been open for a while now, but they have a, a nice, fancy movie tavern that's open down there that a lot of people go to. And then about 10 minutes down that way, there's a big United Artist. I believe, I believe it's United Artist. I think it's a United Artist movie theater down that way. That's also a big, fancy theater with a huge um, IMAX screen and all that stuff down there. So big, fancy pants theater that way, big, fancy pants theater this way. This movie theater that used to be the big, fancy pants theater in the area kind of got pushed to the side because of the other two theaters that opened up that were bigger and better and more more fancy pants. I like using that word, if you will. But we're going to go inside this one because this is the one I used to go to. I spent many, 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 many years going to this theater. Oh my gosh, the sun coming out feels so good right now. But many years I spent going to this theater, seeing the most ridiculous stuff. Every movie that we, you would see on this wall here, we would pretty much go see. I would pretty much see every single movie. We'd be like, I don't know, what's What's plain? Never heard of it. You know what? Let's go see it. it doesn't, it's not going to cost us anything. Let's just go see the movie. So we would see anything and everything. It was a lot of fun. So I used to be a big movie theater goer back in the day. But I want to go inside here just to kind of document this. Look at, look at how, look at all the cobwebs. They have not cleaned this theater in a long time. At night, this theater would look amazing. All the neon would light up outside. It'd be really cool. Again, back in the day, this theater was like the coolest theater Ever. This was such an awesome place when they first built this. We did not have theaters like this back in the day. We had these tiny little, like I said, one, two, maybe three screen theaters in the area. And they weren't even really in the area. They had, we had to drive maybe like 20 minutes to get out to these theaters. So they were just small little theaters. And then this came along and blew our minds as people who liked movies, people who did go to the theaters occasionally, it blew our minds to see theaters this size. So we're gonna go inside here and check this out. Look at this. Here's the actual box office. Look at all the neon. I can smell, I can smell the popcorn right now. I don't really want popcorn right now, but I can smell it and it smells amazing. But I just wanna kinda of show this off and document this for you guys. Cause apparently they're shutting this down. Look at all this neon. And they're my friend used to work here, the concession stand used to give us free. I believe it was my friend's brother was the manager here and I think, I think his sister or something like that also worked here and she used to give us free popcorn and free soda we used to get free popcorn free soda and we used to get free movies here all the time back in the day how's it going okay, can I help you? i'm just looking around because I, I, hear, I heard you guys are shutting down right we're not sure, we're not, oh, you're not sure yet okay oh 
so they have no idea if they're shutting down or not. Well, just to, just in case, just to document it, I want to show this place off because, again, this is where I used to go to theaters back in high school, back in college, in my teen years, my 20s. This is where I would always be watching movies. It said pretty much five to seven days out of the week, I was here every night because it did not cost us a thing to come out here and watch a movie. Pretty awesome, pretty cool. Got these little corridors right down here. All the theaters were down here and down that way. <laughs> Again, when they built this, it blew our minds that there were theaters down that way and down that way. It wasn't like that back in the day with theaters. They were, sm they were so small there. You had like one little row you walked down. There were like two screens you could choose from, if that even. So when they built this, and we're like, wait, theaters on both sides? What, one through 12, 13 through 24, 24 screens? Our minds were completely blown that something like that actually existed. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I wanted to bring you in here, just document this, show it off before they possibly shut down, if they shut down. Yeah, thanks, man. Have a good day. Sorry, like I said, I wanted to show this off. wanted to document this for me, for you. Maybe you also used to come out here and check out this theater back in the day. So like the guy said, he doesn't know if they're actually shutting down now. There was like, as I said in the beginning of this video, they did say they were shutting down apparently last month from what I heard. I actually thought I missed the opportunity to come out here and document this because from what I saw, they were definitely supposed to shut down the end of last month. And now it's the end of the following month and they're still open. So maybe they won't be shutting down. Who knows? They were going to, then they weren't, and they were going to, and now they're not again. Who, who knows? But just in case this theater does indeed shut down, I wanted to come out here. I wanted to document this. Because if next week they say they're shutting down, they close this, I'm gonna be so bummed out that I was not out here. I'm documenting this, showing this, talking about this theater that I love, that I have very fond memories of coming out to seeing every movie on your movie. We would just check off movies and be like, okay, solid, solid, solid. <laughs> we would come out to see anything and everything. It was a ton of fun back in the day. I, I, the, you know, now that I went in there and I smelled the popcorn and I saw the theater, I gotta be honest, I kind of miss it a little bit. Even though I love watching movies at home, like I said, I love the, the convenience of watching a movie when I want, having a pause button, watching it on my nice big screen at home, being able to eat whatever I want, not have to pay ridiculous prices to eat that food at my house. Even though I like the convenience of watching movies at home, I do, to some extent, actually kind of miss watching movies in the theater. I kind of wanted to actually go see Titanic. I was actually hoping they would be showing Titanic here because Titanic is back in theaters right now. And I kind of wanted to go see it again. I saw Titanic about 40 million times when that movie came out. I saw it with my friends because I wanted to see it. Then I think my mom wanted to go see it. And then I was dating a girl who wanted to go see it. I think that girl and I broke up and I started dating another girl while that movie was still in theaters. And we, we went to go see the movie. Then I had like 20 other friends who wanted to see the movie. Titanic was a big deal back when that movie came out. Do you guys remember that? The movie was huge when it came out. It made a bajillion dollars, obviously. It actually was the what, biggest grossing movie until the Avatar movie came out. But so that movie was amazing. It was great. Everybody wanted to see it. And I saw it like 20 times in the theaters. I kind of wanted to go see it again, but they're not actually showing it here. I looked up, they're not showing it at this theater for some reason which is kind of a shame because if they were, I might actually have bought a ticket. I went to see that today, but oh well, maybe I should see something else. What should I see? There's the new Scream. Eh, actually, I wanted to see The Whale. Maybe I'll buy a ticket to go see some Brendan Fraser in The Whale. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll support this theater. Maybe if I, maybe by, by going to see a theater, by, by going to see a movie, I'll help keep this theater alive. Maybe, possibly. Oh my gosh, the wind is still here. This, uh, so that's kind of nice. I just want to document this. I'll tell you one last story. Now that I'm, like, I just, it just popped in my head as I'm walking back out to my car. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should go back over here because this is so windy again. Anyway, so one last story I want to tell you guys. One of my fondest memories. Actually, I have two fond memories. Good memories. All these memories are popping back. They're all coming back to me in a big wave right now of nostalgic memories. So I guess I just have to say one of my other memories of actually inside the theater was when because we, we would see everything. So we would see big blockbusters that would be completely full of people. We'd go see bombs that had no people in the theaters. 
one of my fondest memories is actually seeing the movie SLC Punk. It was a movie that did not do very well. Not a lot of people went to see when the movie was actually in theaters. Now it's considered a classic. Sony actually just released this big 4K box set of like, I forget how many movies, is it eight movies or something like that. And one of the movies they considered to be a classic movie worthy of being in this box set was actually SLC Punk. It's, it's now considered a classic movie, a cult classic, if you will. It's a fantastic film. I've always been a big fan of it ever since I saw it in this theater. My friend and I, who came out here all the time with me, whose brother worked here, who we got into the movies for free from, we actually were the only people in the theaters. It was just him and me. That was it. Nobody else in the theater. It was the first time I ever got to see a movie with nobody else but me and my buddy. It was really weird that nobody went to see that movie except for me and my friend. We were the only person in the theater that night watching SLC Punk. We loved it. We thought it was great. And again, I'm a huge fan of that movie. But um, we were the only ones actually in the theater watching the movie that evening. So that's a fun memory. The other memory I wanted to tell you guys really quickly before we end this video, and they were going very long, is I saw the movie The Ring here. Do you guys remember The Ring with Samara coming out of the, the, um, the well? That movie at the time scared the bejesus out of me. That movie was terrifying back in the day. Now I kind of watch it and I go, wow, that movie scared me. But back when the movie came out, that was a, that was a big deal because like the Japanese horror movies and stuff like that really weren't a, a prominent thing at the time. Now they, you know, they did, after The Ring was successful, you know, there was The Grudge and about 400 other, other thousand Japanese horror remakes and whatnot. So now it's kind of commonplace. But back then that was not a common thing. That movie scared the heck out of me and many other people. And I remember, we saw the last showing of that movie that night, and we came out to our car. We came out to the parking lot, came out of the, came out of probably like these doors right here, came out to the parking lot. It was pitch black out, probably past midnight at that point. There was nobody in the parking lot. However, however, when we got here, the parking lot was completely filled, and I had to park like way in the back of the parking lot. So when I came out here at night, and it was pitch black. It's after midnight. There's nobody in the parking lot. My friend parked like somewhere else. He parked like he had to park like way over there or something like that. I had to park way back there, so we couldn't even walk together. I'm terrified. I just saw this crazy, scary movie of this this de demented demon chick coming out of the 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 well who with a pear in her face, and she freaked me out. And I had to walk through the parking lot by myself in the pitch black. It was quiet. Even the highway right there, there was like nobody really driving on the highway. There was nobody in the parking lot. It was just me and my car. That was it. It was a terrifying moment. But I just thought about that. That night, I saw the ring and had to walk to my car by myself in the pitch black. Terrifying. And also, again, seeing SLC Punk here with just me and my friend being the only two people in the theater because nobody else went to go see that movie. That's now considered a classic movie. But all right, guys. So let me know. Are you a theater goer? Do you like movie theaters? Are you like me now? that you're an old, an old fogey? Do you like just watching movies at home in the comfort of your own house? Or do you still like coming out to the theaters? Maybe you're, maybe you're half and half, maybe you're 50-50. Maybe sometimes you like watching movies at home and sometimes you wanna come out and experience certain specific movies in the theater. I could definitely see that, I can understand that. Again, I understand the appeal of watching a movie in the movie theater, I get it. I just don't do it very often, but I should probably start doing it. And like I said, I might actually, I'm gonna go eat some food first, I'm starving. And then I might come back and get a ticket to go see The Whale, because I do want to see the movie. And then I'd be supporting the theater, maybe keeping this theater alive, because now apparently they don't actually know if they're closing or not. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, who knows. But either way, I have documented this theater that again, holds a very special place in my heart, because for many, many, many years, I pretty much spent every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and sometimes Saturday and Sunday here at this theater, watching any and every movie that was out, bombs and blockbusters for free, thanks to my friend whose brother was a manager here. But all right guys, again, are you a theater goer? Are you not a theater goer? Is your, is your local theater still open? Let me know, I wanna hear, hear your stories about your movie going experiences down below. Tell me your greatest stories about you maybe your buddies or whatever, going out to the movie theater. I wanna hear your movie theater experiences because movie theaters, like I said, I think are a dying breed. I would, I'm gonna call this the next 20 years in my lifetime. These probably won't be a thing anymore, sadly. But right, guys, that's it. I'm gonna let you guys go now. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also, 
Ooh, it's windy. Also, check out the really good spreadsheet where you can grab yourself retro red stock t shirts, proceeds, both from spreadsheet and from Patreon. Do good help supporting the show, keeping the show going. So, I really do appreciate it. Like I said, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Hopefully, you guys can understand me right now. Hopefully, the wind did not completely destroy this video. If it did, I apologize. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.